There. That's it. That's him. What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. It's cracking, folks. I forgot to say in a couple of videos, but as always, you know who this is. It's Mr. S. Star Warmax in the fucking building, whether you like it. Like I said, whether you like it or not, and I'm like, I don't really mean it, whether you like it or not. There's, there's only one, there's only a couple few things you can do to stop me. And, and as far as my videos, these will go on forever. So, let me get into something. I'm going to address some of you haters. I'm going to address a lot of you haters. I'm going to address like the nasty grams I get in my inboxes about how uh, they say I shouldn't be, I shouldn't love America like this, I shouldn't love America like that. From And, and what kills me is the same people that say that are usually these fucking dumbass back to Africa motherfuckers who don't leave this country. They're like, oh, you're African, you should be proud of me. I'm proud, I'm an American. Like, like I tried to tell you ignorant ass bastards. When I go overseas, guess what they call me? They call me an American. Especially when I start fucking talking. So let me let me tell you something. How do you grow the balls to hate America? And then like, this goes for everybody. Cause I see a couple of white folks do it too. Remember Texas, we're gonna leave the union. Motherfucker, you can't leave fucking Austin without help. So get the fuck out of here. But, you people that hate America, whatever your ethnicity is, there's no one stopping you going back to your native land. And like, I don't, it's not like it's not like I'm saying you can't leave. That's what, like I'm, I'm talking about black people because I can relate to this because I'm black. So I'm gonna talk about this. But this goes across the board. Like a lot of these black folks come to me, oh, you're not American. We were kidnapped. Well, a lot of you guys are like in your mid 30s to 40s. You should have had enough time to save up some money and take the first fucking Qantas or, or TWA flight to fucking Johannesburg. But I won't see you do that. You wanna know why? Because here's the reality of the situation. If you go back to fucking Nairobi, or you go back to one of these fucking wastelands over there, or one of the diamond mines over there, you know, as sh you know sure as fuck, your black ass won't make it a fucking week over there without craving some fucking hungry man dinners. Let's keep it real. Like, you know it and I know it. Look, Africans ain't coming over here for no reason. And that's another thing. I want to talk about them, too. I hate these Africans that come over here and want to dog us out. Yeah, yeah, this, that. I'm like, motherfucker, where are you at? What, what, what flag flies over your fucking mailbox for the first time in your life? And here, I'm like, I'm an American, whether you like it or not. And like, I hear these guys, well, America did this. Let me tell you something. Like I said, a lot of you guys, a lot of you losers, a lot of you rejects, a lot of you fucking peasants were in your mid-30s to early 40s. You mean to tell me you're distrust and your hatred for America, but you don't hate enough to leave it? And then, well, we don't advise to leave. Why? If you would hate, look, I was married. It got to a point where we hated each other. So why would I stay in something that I hated? When you want to get out, it's like the Klan or the Black Panthers. If the Klan hates black people, why would you want to mix, mix with them? Or the Black Panthers? They hate the police or whatever, why would you want to mix with them? The fact remains that you, you guys know what will happen if you take your funky asses back there with that. You got no skills in America. You got no money in America. You got nothing but rhetoric. You go to Africa, they put one machete to your fucking tan hide, and it's back home again, you're coming. And I know there's motherfuckers who, well, I've been to Africa. Keyword, been to. Well, keywords, been to. You ain't living there. Well, I do business with Africans. Big fucking deal. You ain't over there. So when you guys want to come with your own nasty grams and run your fucking mouths talking about how you're, you guys are shouting because you're proud to be American. Let me tell you something, buddy. Go to your mailbox. Get a piece of mail that isn't junk mail. Look to see what fucking flag flies over your roof. You were pledging the Pledge of Allegiance when you were in, in elementary school. Don't fucking act proud now. Bunch of fucking fakes. That's why I don't pay attention to half you guys. You know what the fuck you're talking about. So keep it up with the nasty grams because all we do, we laugh at you. 
we we good with it. It's like comical. You cannot make this shit up. The only thing, the only place you can make this shit up is P.T. Barnum. And God rest his soul, he ain't alive no more. Cause you clowns will be working for him. So I'm out of here. I got shit to do and people to see. It ain't you. Peace. There. That's it. That's him.